Okay, students, we are going to study about the four P's, the software development life cycle. These four P's include people, product, process, project. They are also called as part of management spectrum. They are independent and relatively dependent upon each other. People, product, process and project. Let us look at people. People are the stakeholders who are working directly with the project. It could be the user, it could be the project manager, it could be the developer, it could be the government making policies or it could be the people belonging to areas like recruiting, selection, performance management, training, compensation, career development, organization, work design, team culture, so on and so forth. The organizations achieve high level of maturity in the people management area. So, while developing a software, this is an important aspect which has to be concentrated because without people, there will be no software development process. The product. The product is the final outcome for which all the stakeholders are working together. Before a project can be planned, the product objectives and scope should be established, alternative solutions should be considered and the technical management constraints should be identified. So, in order to have a good quality product, all the discussion should take place regarding the objectives, scope, needs, the outcomes in advance before the actual beginning of software development life cycle. Without this information, it is impossible to define reasonable estimates of cost, effective assessment of risk, a realistic breakdown of project task or a manageable project schedule. So all the scope and objective definition is requirement before the project scheduling is done. The project is broken down into parts which leads to a manageable project scheduling. Objectives identify the overall goals for the product without considering how these goals can be achieved. Scope identifies the primary data, functions and behavior that characterize the project product. The process. How the product can be developed depends upon the process. What could be the quality of the product which has to be developed depends upon what quality is being, what process is being carried out. A software process provides the framework from which a comprehensive plan for software development can be established. A small number of framework activities are applicable to all software projects regardless of their size or complexity. These framework activities include task, milestone, work products, quality assurance, which enable the framework activities to be adapted to the characteristics of software project and the requirement of the project team. So a task is something which has to be done while developing the product. Milestones are the targets which have to be achieved in delivering the work products and the quality assurance levels which have to be maintained while the product development takes place. Finally, umbrella activities such as software quality assurance, software configuration management, and measurement overlay the process model. Software quality assurance means it is a systematic approach to ensure the quality of the software is maintained or improved through peer review, formal review, and technical review. Software configuration management, it is management of change to identification version control, change control. Change is inevitable. So it has to be monitored. It has to be developed. It has to be incorporated if it is a must. And various versions have to be released. And the change has to be controlled so that it doesn't give rise to unwanted disruptions in the activity. Finally, the fourth P is the project. We conduct the planned and controlled software project for one primary reason, it is the only known way to manage complexity. A software project manager and the software engineer who build the product must avoid a set of common warning signs, understand the critical success factors that lead to good project management, and develop a common sense approach for planning, monitoring, and controlling the project. So, the project is the most important thing which has to be evaluated and understood by the project manager, engineers to ignore the unnecessary details and 
to focus on the warning signs and understand the critical success factors that lead to a good quality software. That is all about the management spectrum and four P's of software development process. Thank you.